Can Russia handle asymmetrical warfare in Ukraine? If you don't know what asymmetrical warfare is, that's pretty much guerrilla warfare. So, at the time of making this video, Russian forces are pretty much surrounding Kyiv, and they are predicted to take it out in one to four days. But what will that accomplish? Urban warfare is extremely difficult. When you add an asymmetrical warfare component, this means people can throw Molotov cocktails out the windows. Uh, Russian soldiers could be walking, and then an IED blows up in the middle of nowhere. This is not something that Russia is indicating they want to do for this one reason. Uh, the Kremlin and President Putin is saying he is willing to talk in Belarus to the leadership of Ukraine to go over negotiations for a ceasefire. Now, this is a very, very important detail because this shows that Russia does not want another Afghanistan. From a military standpoint, this whole invasion into Ukraine is really not that impressive from Russia. In fact, it's actually very shocking to say the least. When Russia initially started the invasion, they did their peppering of their missiles all over the country. That was standard. However, it really didn't have that big of an effect. And when you look at the actual numbers of deaths versus deaths, uh, we're looking at 800 plus Russian soldiers to about 150-ish Ukrainian soldiers at the time of making this video. The other thing that's very important about Russia, which is very concerning, when they took over the airport ne near Kyiv, which was a very important, um, uh, it was a very important military tactic to take the airport above Kyiv, they were not able to hand uh, handle it. They got re counterattacked by the Ukrainians, and this says a lot. Russia has total air control, they can do whatever they want, yet they're still getting beat at certain spots. They should be steamrolling over the Ukrainians, and they're not. That is why I do not think that Russia can handle asymmetrical warfare. They cannot handle people uprising and taking them out. Because the main component of asymmetrical warfare is that they have something to fight for, they are willing to fight dirty, to fight for their country, to fight for their fellow countrymen. Russia is literally just there based off of a crazy evil dictator who wants to form Ukraine back together because the, the, Russian, lang the Russian language is spoken in Ukraine. These are some of the justification he has for the invasion. So we will see what happens. Again, it is showing indication that Russia does not want another Afghanistan because Ukraine will be a hundred times worse than Afghanistan. They have way more people, they have more to fight for, and they do not want to be under the rule of a dictator. Now the more important thing we're going to see is if Russia is willing to stand and fight with asymmetrical warfare fighters, what is going to happen and how dirty is it going to get? This could spark a fight between another country who says, you know what, screw NATO, we're going to fight the Russians because Russia is fighting dirty. And after we saw Russia's capabilities and how they kind of struggled with Ukraine, I guaranteed some other seasoned militaries who actually fought in Afghanistan, fought in Iraq, they can handle some Russian forces.